Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So I often get asked, how the heck do you test MOS boards, MOSFETs, see if they're bad? And, uh, yeah, it's actually not that difficult. You, all you need is a multimeter that has a diode mode on it. This uh, particular inverter that you're looking at right here with these MOSFETs, I can already tell that this set of MOSFETs is bad, and it's not because it has one blown MOSFET over here. That's not the case. I'm going to show you how to do this. If you have your multimeter in diode mode, I'll get around the camera here. i got my camera stand right in front here so that I can try to do this. If you have your meter in diode mode and you take your positive probe and you touch the far leftmost leg of the MOSFET and then you touch anywhere on the... Um, uh, the heat sink back there, you should get close to 2 volts, okay? Now, on the left here, here is a bad MOS board, and you get pretty much near zero, okay? Now, let's look at some different MOSFETs here. Sorry about the glare on there, I'm trying to hold this. These MOSFETs are out of a 24 volt, 15,000 watt unit. Okay, I've got two sets here. One set is bad, doesn't look damaged. The other set is good, doesn't look damaged. So you can do the exact same thing. Take your positive probe, and it can be any one of these MOSFETs. I usually start on the left side over here. Touch the probe on the left side, the positive probe, and then touch the back um, heat sink. And if I can hold it in place, you can see that this one here is pretty much dead, okay? Now, let's do the same thing for the good one. Same thing. Touch the left leg with your positive, and then touch the heat sink or anywhere back there. And you can see I've got two, right around two. So I know that this set of moss boards is good. This set is bad. You can, you, not always can you tell that a MOS board is bad based on that green LED. That's that's usually the case. If the green LED doesn't come on, then it's likely that the MOS board is completely fried. Even if it's on though, it's not always the case. And so it's important to realize that um, if you're able to test the MOSFETs, see if the MOSFETs are good. If, there are, if they are, there's no reason to replace them. Uh, from PowerJack, I'm often instructed to replace all of the MOSFETs, even if just one set is bad. And so I have a pretty large pile of parts of MOSFETs that are actually good MOS boards. And I uh, can use them in non-warranty service um, returns to me that... Um, you know, basically they are used or scrapped or, or whatever, and it works out pretty good. So uh, there you have it. We got bad MOSFETs that look fine, good MOSFETs that look fine, bad MOSFETs, good MOSFETs. And really, honestly, not all the MOSFETs may be bad, but the way that PowerJack sends these, obviously, is they come assembled kind of like this. These, this is a bad set, obviously it's all burned up, but they come assembled like this. So you can't replace just one MOSFET. You could, you could unsolder, but if they're going to send you this board anyway as it is, so you might as well just replace the whole thing. So anyway, that is really the easiest way to check to see if you have uh, a good set of MOS boards. That's the, the first telltale uh, way to check. And if you have a negative out of that, then you know it's time to replace the actual entire set. Hopefully that helps answer your question. I'm sorry about the camera being right real close here. I tried to get all zoomed in if possible. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Yes, they can be tested on here. Just don't apply power, obviously, while you're trying to test them. Make sure there's no power going and make sure that the caps are not charged because that can actually throw it off. Okay, take care.